Hello, good morning. Um, for those who don't know me, um, I'm Sue Richards and I'm a beauty guide with Lime Life by Alcone. Um, and today I'm going to be uh, showing you a quick um, everyday makeup that you can put on um, before you go out the house, just to make you feel a little bit more, um, a bit more you and a bit more presentable. Um, so. I'm going to use a few different products. Um, if you have any questions about them, um, just drop them um, in the comments and I'll answer them or send me a message. Um, I'm not going to go through them um, too much during um, the video uh, just because I don't want to um, be talking too much because it makes it um, really, really long. Um, so yeah, I'm going to crack on. Um, any questions, then let me know. Um, when you do pop on, um, just share with me what your um, must-have um, product is and we'll see um, what everyone can't live without. Right, so we're going to get started. So we're going to start off with the base. Um, a bit of concealer and um, some foundation. So Concealer, obviously, in the places where you're wanting to hide or conceal or just cover up. So we can do some under the eyes. And I like to put a little bit on my eyelids as a primer for any eyeshadow that I'm going to use. And then with concealer, um, you don't want to go too much over the um, main part that you're wanting to cover up, um, but just feather it out around the edges so it's um, a little bit lighter. But you can go over the centre as well, just to make sure that you haven't got a big clump of concealer in the middle there we go nice and quick and then we're going to use some um, foundation so this is a wax based foundation and uh, this one here um, so it goes on it's like let's just say it's a wax based and um, it's like a solid but then when you warm it up it does go into a liquid and um, so you get like the best of both um, and you can build it up as well so you get really good coverage from this so you can do like a day look or wear it out on a night out and you'll be happy with what you're going to get coverage wise. I'm just going to pop it on, got lots of more on my hand so I'll put it on first and then see where I need to put some extra. This is just going to be a nice light. I'm not going to go for a full coverage today. Just to tone everything down. There we go. Right. Instant. And I love with this foundation, the glow that it gives you. So it gives you that natural look. So if you are more after a matte look, you can mattify it using like a translucent powder um, or like the coloured powder gives you more of a, a sheer look. But if you wanted to mattify it, you can use like a translucent powder, which will give you that look. Um, and it will also keep everything in place a lot longer. There you go. So... Nice quick coverage of that. Um, and then I like to pop some um, like setting spray between my layers. So I'll just pop that on and then while that is setting, um, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I'm not going for full eyebrows today, so just a little bit of um, filling in. I'm just using my liner today.
clean. Just because I have no eyebrows at the end, so I have to do it. If I didn't have to do this, then I'd probably leave my eyebrows as they are. But I do need to add a little bit of extra colour to the ends at the moment. I did have them microbladed, but um, when I was pregnant, I wasn't able to have them topped up, um, so I've had to line them. Um, whereas once I have time, I will go and have them topped up again. But this liner makes it really easy to just fill them in. Right, so I did say I'm doing it with a little bit of a twist. So what I'm going to use today is um, my one of my palettes that I've created, like my trio palette. So it's got a blush, two blushes and a bronzer in. Um, and I do find this is a really good palette that I do take away when I go away with me. Um, because I get like a, a bronzer, um, a blusher and a highlight in it. Um, but you can use them all as eyeshadows as well. Um, so I do find this one a really good one to take away with me. Um, and I'm going to use it today, just a little bit of um, eyeshadow on. So if you're anything like me, you don't use a lot of, um, I don't use blush a lot. Um, I do sometimes use it, but um, because you can use it as an eyeshadow as well, it makes it, um, makes it worth having. I'm just adding a little bit of the highlight blush just in the centre, just to lighten that up. It just opens up your eyes and adds a little bit of dimension to your eyeshadow and eyes lovely right next i'm going to put some um on my face so i'd like to put a little bit of the highlight one just on my cheek like my higher cheekbone and then i'm just going to use um some bronzer so this is um, number one, so it does have a little bit of shimmer in it. You can get it uh, shimmer free, so you can get a matte, matte blush, brown, blush brush bronzers, bronzers. Right, uh, my eyes are looking a little bit bare, um, so I'm just going to add a little bit of finishing off on them. So it'll be um, liner and mascara. So this is a liquid liner, really quick and easy to use.
and then lastly can't forget uh, your mascara and then just a little bit of lips and we're done just gonna go for one coat of mascara this is like a buildable one so you can um, get longer fuller lashes from extra applications but we're just gonna put one on just to color them in and not look my eyes look bald and then I'm just gonna put a gloss on today um, the one I'm gonna use is called grace and um, it's a nice just got a little bit of a hint of a, a pink tone to it. So it's not not a heavy colour, but it just gives you that nice little um, shine and a bit of colour to your lips. Cool. So that's me. Um, me done. Ready for today. Um, any questions then please drop me a message. Um, if you've enjoyed what you've seen, please share um, or um, tag anyone in that you think might be interested. Lovely. Hope you have a lovely Monday and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.